Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Srinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this video, I will talk about inorganic chemistry. I will go through each and every chapter of inorganic chemistry and discuss the important concept and give some tips regarding each chapter. Watch till the end so you won't miss any of the important details. And if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please do subscribe and like this video. By doing this, I can get to know if these videos are being helpful for you or not. Inorganic chemistry is most volatile compared to other subjects. For inorganic chemistry, you have to stick to the NCRT syllabus. As inorganic chemistry is very vast, most of the time questions will be asked directly from NCRT only. You have to revise inorganic chemistry as many times as you can. In my case, whenever I used to read NCRT for inorganic chemistry, I used to find new things which I wasn't aware previous time I have read. Each and every time you read NCRT, you will find something new. So, read it as many times as you can and be thorough with it. Let's start with chapter number one. That is classification of elements. This chapter is very important and basic for your understanding of inorganic chemistry. If you are thorough with this chapter, you can easily understand block elements. That is S, P, D and F block elements. Here you have to be thorough with periodic trends of physical and chemical properties. That is atomic size, ionic size, ionization enthalpy, electronegativity, oxidation state, etc. You have to be thorough with each and every one of them and it will be beneficial for you in upcoming chapters. In block elements, that is S, P, D and F blocks, you have to focus more on periodic trends of physical properties. Go through the variation of the physical property. You don't have to remember those numbers, but have an understanding of why it is happening and note for exception in them, in those properties too. And you have to focus more on chemical properties, structures and important compounds of those elements, etc. You cannot miss any details in these chapters. Questions can be asked from each and every corner of inorganic chemistry. So be thorough with the NCRT for inorganic chemistry. And you cannot afford to lose marks in inorganic chemistry as we all know inorganic chemistry questions will be from NCRT only. So please be thorough with NCRT for inorganic chemistry. As I have mentioned, please make a special note of exceptions. There will be an exception in each and every concept. Please note about those exceptions. Question will be asked based on those exceptions too. Next very important chapter is redox reaction. Even this chapter is very basic for, under, for your understanding of inorganic chemistry. Here you have to be thorough with oxidation, reduction, oxidizing agent and reducing agent. If you are thorough with these, you can easily understand a reaction rather than by hurting the reaction. Balancing of redox reaction will be of much help in mole concept. So don't neglect that even redox reactions are interconnected with electrochemistry chapter. That makes this chapter very very important. So don't neglect this chapter. Next chapter is hydrogen. This is a very small chapter and has few reactions. And all these reactions in this chapter will be repeated in other chapters too. So this chapter will be easy for you. You have to use logic and imagination while reading inorganic chemistry and understanding it. By doing this, you can remember the concept better and you can easily solve the problems of those concepts. Next chapter is surface chemistry. It is a pretty big chapter, but don't be afraid by the size of it. Here make a note of free energy of adsorption, adsorption isotherm. In adsorption isotherm, you have to clearly understand the graph of the adsorption isotherm. Focus more on shape selective catalysis. You have to focus on the terms like 
craft temperature critical miser concentration zeta potential etc make a special note of these terms and you have to know about preparation properties of colloids too next is metallurgy here focus on the ores and extraction of metal from those ores next is very important chapter that is chemical bonding usually three to four questions will be asked from this chapter and if you are thorough with this chapter you can easily find the structures of important compounds in block elements chapters you have to be thorough with vsepr theory focus on the table explaining different structures even you have to focus on valence bond theory hybridization and molecular orbital theory will be helpful for you in coordination chemistry even focus on bonding in diatomic molecule you have to use logic and imagination for this chapter next chapter is very important one usually four question will be asked from this chapter that is coordination chemistry this chapter is widely connected with chemical bonding chapter as i told if you are good with chemical bonding you can understand this chapter better in this chapter focus mainly on naming of coordination compounds know about different types of isomerism and don't get confused between those isomerisms in valence bond theory you have to know how to find out the hybridization of a particular compound and the shape of it focus on crystal field theory and carbonyl compound as i have told earlier for inorganic chemistry you have to just stick to the ncrt please be thorough with ncrt and that is enough don't go for reference book or some other book other than ncrt just focus on ncrt solve previous year questions that's it just do this you can easily get good marks in inorganic chemistry if you have any suggestion or feedback feel free to comment and let me know if you want to get connected with me in instagram you can do that by sharing a vid my video or screenshot of it and tagging my username i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you for more updates subscribe to this channel and share it as much as you can have a great day